guys want to hear a happy song? I'm uh, sorry, homie, we don't do no happy songs. What's up, Dirty Cones? Uh, little Mike Ness, live, social distortion, getting me. You know, I must really like you guys because it's a beautiful day. If I, I want to drive with my uh, windows open, but if I drive my windows open, then, then uh, you can't hear me. So, and and there is a lot to talk about. Um, wow. So today's Abyssmus Eve, which makes tomorrow Abyssmus, and uh, it's a beautiful day. And there's nothing to be scared of. If you're scared of Thursdays because it's alternate water con, it's, oh, it's so scary. Don't be scared. Right? Train until you die. And you're not going to die because they're PJs. And since you're not going to die and you're not going to quit, you have another option but to pass. That's it. There's your option. Train or die. Go home or stay there, but don't be scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, you don't even know to be afraid of anything yet. You're, you're still young. You haven't had all those life experiences. They're like, oh, no. Don't date strippers. <laughs> right? You haven't learned that lesson yet. No. Lesson number one, don't date strippers. I'm sure she's a very nice girl, uh, and I'm not stereotyping in any way. I'm just saying that she's smarter than you because she knows how to make money and you're not going to have anything left by the end of the night. So, uh, that's what I'm saying. Strippers are very nice people. Some of my best friends are strippers. Um, they are too. <laughs> anyway, and you know what? It's all right. Date who you want, but just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so don't be afraid of Thursdays. Um... All right, so I don't, I don't think I've given you guys this. All right, so this is, this is why you never quit on Mondays, all right? You never quit on Mondays because Mondays are eval days. And eval days are nice and easy. And all you got to do is standards. So, whatever. You can't quit on Tuesday because Tuesday is almost Wednesday. And Wednesday is hump day, all right? So, you can't quit on Wednesday because it's hump day. You're almost there. You are halfway through the week. You're almost there, right? You can't quit on Thursday because... Thursday is just one day out of the week, and it's almost there to Friday, right? Uh, a lot of clubs start opening up on Thursdays. So, I mean, Thursday is almost Friday, and by the time you're hitting Thursday, bam, you are Friday. And nobody quits on a Friday because it's a weekend. And nobody's ever quit on Saturday or Sunday. So, that's why you can't quit on any day of the week because you're almost there. It's worth it. It's good. And what's also good is the way you guys are helping each other out. Um... Uh, somebody asked me what I think about the Marines. Marines are awesome what they do. I just like a better lifestyle. If if you like a hardcore Spartan lifestyle and to be treated uh, below your value, um, but to be amazing at what you do, go be a Marine, right? I like the Air Force. It made sense. I was like, you know what? I want to do all the crazy fun stuff, but nice hotels don't sound bad, too bad either. So you can take that for what it's at and be like, well, you know, you're not hardcore. I'm as hardcore as I need to be. I did what I needed to do, and I think that that's what's important. So I'm okay. Um, so keep helping each other out. I like that. Um, workouts check out the four horsemen um for finning if you can find any pool even if it's a motel six pool do circles right um which isn't a bad way to swim either um kind of keeps it different um <clears throat> you don't need anything deeper than four feet to tread just pull your legs up higher and by doing that you'll be fine uh, it'll help you actually tread better anyway because the wider your base is the more um, water you can grab so you don't have a buddy for buddy breathing all you need is a snorkel 
right? Get used to floating, get used to, you know, where you need to be, get used to breaths, take a breath from yourself, um, get comfortable with it. You need to establish that rhythm. And then when you actually get to, um, in dock and you're doing it, you're like, oh, okay. Because as soon as you, it's like air in the water, air in the water, boom, 30 seconds later, you're going. So you don't really have a lot of time to be like, well, you know, I wasn't ready. Can we, can we take, can we start over? Give me 30 more seconds. I just, I wasn't ready. There's no, it's go. When the green light on the 130 says, go, you know? So, uh, water, don't do underwaters by yourself. Always make sure you got a buddy with you. Uh, very important to, to stay safe. You know, if you're, if you're just starting out, don't try two minutes, you know, try four minutes, three minutes, see how it goes. Um, but stay under the water. And, and it's what I always kind of told myself for underwaters was like, it was hot lava and I just couldn't come up <laughs> because I would burn. So I'm like, oh, I gotta stay down. And you know, silly games like that work, you know, and, and the, the lava didn't get turned off until I touched the crack and then it would, and it would allow me to breathe. I don't know. I, I remember popping once on uh, on a Black Thursday. It was a horrible day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember why. I just remember I popped and I was like, oh. and uh, you got to do them on the road. So, and that might have been, I don't remember. That was a bad day though. But I survived. So, everybody's got bad days. Um, oh, reading list. Somebody asked about, there's so many, man, there's so many good books out there right now, and, and podcasts, and uh, Sebastian Younger Tribes, anything by Sebastian Younger, uh, Malcolm Gladwell, Stephen Pressfield, um, those those three men will, will do you pretty good. Uh, Chuck Palahniuk, if you're feeling like down and dirty and just like, what the hell? Uh, man, that'll teach you some manliness, <laughs> some of his books. Uh, there's a book called Donnie Brook that's uh, pretty crazy. Who lent me that book? I forget. Anyway, good book. Um, what was the other question? Oh, I guess that's it. So, thank you for listening. Hope training is going well. And uh, thanks for keeping me company and traffic. Booyah.